Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime with Kate. Today I wanted to share this wonderful book that is perfect for preschool circle time but also for younger children such as babies and toddlers. Why? Because of the author Eric Carle. Eric Carle is an amazing writer and an illustrator. Unfortunately he passed away couple of weeks ago and this is my dedication to his work and his creativity. Eric Carroll, the very quiet cricket. One warm day from a tiny egg a little cricket was born. Welcome chirped a big cricket rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, wheezed the locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together but nothing happened not a sound hello whispered the praed mantis scraping its huge front legs together the little cricket wanted to answer so he rubbed his wings together but nothing happened not a sound Good day, crunched the worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. I wonder who he will meet next. Hmm, hi bubbled the spittlebug slurping in the sea of frost the little cricket wanted to answer so he rubbed his wings together but nothing happened not a sound good afternoon screeched the cicada clinging to a branch of a tree the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. How are you? hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening, word a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his, wi his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Did you hear something? Could it be a cricket? Good night buzzed the mosquitoes. Dancing among the stars, the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. A lunar moss sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the lunar moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very, very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time, and this time 
he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard.